packages rigged with explosives and designed to kill. This clearly is an act of terror. The Time Warner Center evacuated. I live across the street from a place that could have blown up. A bomb driven through the streets. I got the alert on my phone about like stay clear, stay away. Nerves on edge as the nation wonders what's next. We want all sides to come together in peace and harmony. Good evening, I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. We begin with breaking news in California. The Los Angeles Central Mail Facility has been evacuated because of another suspicious package. You're looking at live pictures here from the scene as investigators try to determine if it's connected to the other explosives delivered today. This one addressed to Congresswoman Maxine Waters, who's among six prominent Democrats who were targeted, along with former President Obama and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. They were delivered to homes in Chappaqua and Bedford, also to CNN headquarters in Columbus Circle. There were also packages sent to Washington, Capitol Heights, Maryland, and Sunrise, Florida. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live now in Columbus Circle with the latest. Jessica. Christina Maurice added protection and peace of mind here in Columbus Circle tonight. Look at all the NYPD SUVs still on the scene tonight, more than 12 hours after that 911 call for an explosive device in the mailroom here. Authorities are connecting this to at least half a dozen other incidents, and tonight they're concerned there's more bombs out there. It was an apparent act of terror targeting prominent Democrats and CNN. Terrorism is an attempt to strike terror, an attempt to strike fear. None of the devices detonated, but did set off fear and confusion in Columbus Circle. Watch the moment the alarm went off while two anchors were on the air. Excuse me, that sounds like a fire alarm here. We'll keep you posted on that. You can see their co-workers heading for the door behind them. The entire Time Warner Center was evacuated for five hours. Hours while the bomb squad investigated. The events of the day are just terrifying because I, I live across the street from a place I could have blown up. We now know the bomb was made with PVC pipe covered in black tape, packed with shards of glass, and it had a small battery similar to a watch battery inside. The NYPD put it in a containment truck and drove it to a facility in the Bronx where it will be examined for fingerprints, DNA markers, and construction techniques. And in this case, uh, the devices did not detonate which leaves investigators a lot of evidence as to uh, how, who the person is by how the bomb was made. The package found in the mailroom at CNN was addressed to former CIA director John Brennan, whose name was misspelled. The now political commentator spoke about the importance of unity tonight. We need to unite. We may have differences, but this should be no reason whatsoever to resort to these types of acts of intimidation and potentially violence. Authorities believe this homemade explosive is connected to the devices sent to the estate of Democratic donor and billionaire George Soros in Bedford earlier this week, and the one addressed to the Clintons in Chappaqua, intercepted at a nearby facility where their mail is screened. We are fine, thanks to the men and women of the Secret Service. Secret Service also caught another package before it got to the Washington, D.C. home of the Obamas. Each was sent in a similar manila envelope with bubble wrap interior. All of the packages had a return address of former DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz. Today, a police robot could be seen rolling down the street near her Florida office after that building got an envelope, but this one was intended for former Attorney General Eric Holder. Two more packages were caught before reaching Representative Maxine Waters of California. And now all those explosive devices are being sent to an FBI facility in Virginia where they will further be tested and analyzed, hopefully giving authorities more clues into who's behind all this. We're live in Columbus Circle tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.